This is an introduction to the BYOB display content by mobile device for Thesis 2. And what this box does is it allows you to specify what content gets displayed on which mobile devices. So for example, you can choose to show some mobile specific content, smartphone specific content, different kind of advertising, different kind of sign up form, something like that, depending upon the device that's used. Now, and so we start off, of course, by installing it. We'll scroll down here. There's two different versions of it. There's one version for use with Thesis 2, and then there's another version for use with Thesis 2.1. They work essentially the same. So we'll download it to our computer. And then what we're going to do is come over to this WooCommerce site here. I have this slider, this featured product slider that I created using my using the BX slider box, uh, the BX content slider box, and I'm going to choose not to display that on cell phones, on a small mobile device. So we'll show it on desktops and on laptops, but not on a small mobile device. Okay. So what we do then is first come over to boxes, manage boxes, and upload the box, choose the file. Notice that the display content by device has a one in it like this. That means there's another copy of that someplace here on my in this folder and my computer is just renamed the new file by adding the one. If you try to install this it will fail, it will break. So what you need to do is find the one that the old one and delete it. Take a new one and rename it so that it has the right name. So it's only display content by device and then just upload that. Again, make sure you do not upload it with without using the correct name. Okay, so we can say OK to that and then choose or put a check mark in the box beside it and hit Save Boxes. Now when we come over to our skin editor, we're going to find, now well, let's go to the front page since that's the one we're going to work on. You will find that in the skin editor, we now have a new box, the BYOB Display Content by Device box. So we'll go ahead and add that box. And then what we're going to do is just, well, well, we'll drag it into the page. And we're going to drag the feature box entirely into it and just drop it in there. So now the feature box has it. And then we'll open up the box options, and these are our choices. We can say display only on non-mobile devices, which means it's only going to show up on the desktop. It won't show up on any other mobile device, including tablets. We can say display only on mobile devices and to all mobile devices. So it doesn't matter what the mobile device is, it'll show up. However, it will not display on the desktop. We can say display on desktop devices, display on tablet devices, display on modern smartphones, older smartphones, really old smartphones. Okay, essentially what we can do here is, you know, you can pick which ones you want to display on. And at first we can say display only on non-mobile devices. If we do that and save the template and refresh this template, see it shows up on our desktop but if we go to our mobile device it does not show up here right so it's not showing up on the mobile device, but it is showing up on the desktop. Now we can also set it so that it only displays on mobile devices and doesn't ever display on the desktop. If we save that, come back over here. There it is, not showing up on the desktop. 
But if we come back over to our phone and refresh that view, now it's there on the mobile device, right? Okay. So we can also be selective about what devices it shows on. You know, something that's probably going to be common is some you want to display something on a desktop device and on a tablet device, but say none on any of the smaller devices. So just put a checkbox on both of those. Save a template. And now it shows up there. And if my tablet had the ability to connect up to my computer like my phone does, you'd be able to see that. So hopefully you'll find that to be useful.